I'm showing you how to create incredible high quality AI videos completely for free using the new Minimax AI video generator. This new AI video generator can create very dynamic motions, but to get the best videos, you'll need to know how to write the right prompts which I'll be sharing with you inside this tutorial. In addition, I'll also show you how to upscale the resolution of the videos for free. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete workflow for how to use Minimax to get the best looking AI videos. We'll start at Hyalua.com, which is home to the Minimax video generator. It's a Chinese website, so I just use Google Translate to translate it into English. Don't worry, it's very simple and intuitive to use. You don't need to know any Chinese at all. Signing using this login button at the top right. You can either use WeChat or your phone number. I just entered my phone number since it's easier. Make sure you pick the right area code. Once you've logged in, to access the AI video generator, use this second green tab down here. This might change if you're watching this video into the future, but for now, this is what the video creation area looks like. You can enter a prompt and generate videos. But if you actually scroll down, you'll see examples of videos and prompts other people have generated. I was so impressed with this clip of a plant creature in an apocalyptic setting. And I decided to create a mini AI movie based on what's shown here. If we scroll down, we can find the prompt the person used, which gives us some hints on how we can write our own prompts. Prompting is the most important part of getting the best videos. You'll want to include the following elements in the prompts you write. The camera shot and camera motion, which sets the scene the main subject and what they're doing, the setting and location they're in, and what else is going on around them, which can include other subjects as well. And finally, the visual style. Prompting for the same visual style is extremely important if you want all your video clips to look consistent. Otherwise, they'll be generated with different color palettes and genres. So I'm gonna take inspiration from this clip that I really liked, which has the visual style keywords, post-apocalyptic movie scene shot on Red Komodo, directed by Andrei Tarkovsky. And I'll change it around to be a little more explicit in exactly the colors I want. I'll specify it to be a cinematic movie with muted and desaturated colors because I want a gritty and dark feeling. I'll leave in the part with post-apocalyptic movie directed by Andrei Tarkovsky. I really like this artistic style. Also, let's remove this section that says shot on Red Komodo, which is a specific camera brand. Minimax is pretty sensitive when it comes to the prompts. When you mention the specific camera type you want, a lot of the times it actually generates the camera inside the video. We don't want that to happen, so I'll take that part out. We've got the visual style down, so let's actually start prompting and creating video clips. Start by thinking about the specific camera shot you want. This frames the scene and the characters in them. I'll use a close-up shot to zoom in on the face. Then describe your subjects. I'm using this plant hybrid animal theme for my videos. I think it goes well with a post-apocalyptic world. It's important to adding emotions and facial expressions, which can have a big effect on how the video looks. Once you finish writing the prompt, use the generate video button to start generating a video. If you scroll down, there's this page called mine, which shows the progress of your video generations. These videos will take a few minutes to generate. In the meantime, let's go and take a look at some examples of other prompts I use. Minimax is absolutely incredible at following every little detail inside your prompts. It can generate all kinds of motions, like this woman crawling on the ground. In my prompts, I asked for ragged clothing. What really stands out is how it's able to frame relationships between multiple subjects in the scene. There's a giant creature following here. Here's another video where the camera slowly zooms in on the human as a group of hybrid plant dogs circle around her. I added in a barren dystopian landscape in this case. The motions Minimax generates are better than any other AI video generators I've seen. They're so fast without much warping or deformations at all. It looks like Minimax has finished generating the prompt we asked for earlier. The video is realistic and it has the dark color tones that's the visual style I wanted. And there's also this hybrid human character I asked for. Here's a few limitations you should know before trying this out. You can only generate one video at a time. It takes three to five minutes. That's not bad compared to what else is out there, but it is kind of annoying when you have to wait for an entire video to finish generating before trying something else. The biggest issue I ran into though is that it censors videos and prompts without telling you. For example, I try to generate this prompt, close-up shot on a man's dirty face. The man has an expression of fear, anger, and resentment. He screams as he transforms into a hybrid animal plant creature. For whatever reason, this prompt gets censored. That's not a big deal. 
What's very annoying though is that the website doesn't tell you it's censoring your prompt. It makes you wait through the entire generation process. And at the end of it, it just doesn't output any videos. This took me a while to figure out. I thought it was some kind of a weird bug. If you're trying to generate stuff and the website just doesn't give you anything, there's a good chance your videos are being censored. Also, the videos you get are 1280 by 720 p resolution. I'll show you the rest of my prompts quickly. Pay attention to how closely the AI follows the prompt descriptions. It's really very impressive. So we've got some really nice looking videos. Now let's go and increase the resolution to get that extra bit of sharpness and quality. I'll be using the free CapCut Video Upscaler. It's fast and easy to use. All you have to do is upload a video and after that, just hit the upscale button. It does get stuck sometimes. If you don't see this blue and purple bar in the middle, or it's just taking a long time, refresh the page and try uploading your video again. To download the video, just hit this export button in the top right and scroll down to find the download function. Taking a look at before and after, it does do a decent job of sharpening the details, especially on the faces and clothing. So we've created the videos and upscaled them. But if we just take a look at the individual clips, even though we prompted for the same visual style, there's still some difference in the color grading of each clip. Some are darker and more desaturated, while others have more vibrant colors in them. We can handle this during video editing. I'm using the free CapCut video editor. Select a video clip and go to the adjustments tab on the right. From there, you can play around with the color grading. I think this clip is a little bit too bland. I'll increase the color temperature a bit so it's more colorful. For this other video clip, it's a little too colorful compared to the rest of the clips. I'll turn down the saturation to bring it more in line with everything else. There you have it, how to create cinematic and high quality AI videos using Minimax. Everything I showed you is free and easy to use, so make sure you give it a try. I'll keep you posted on any important updates. If you want to learn more about how to create realistic and super high quality AI videos, go and take a look at this tutorial I made over here.